damn, this kid has no chill. I love that. Oh, the music made it so much more creepy. You don't fucking say. <laughs> hey, what's up, peeps? Welcome back for another video. Today is a very, very, very exciting day because we are finally starting our journey on Gravity Falls. Now, this is a show that I have well was supposed to watch years ago when my friends would not shut the fuck up about it because <laughs> my 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 friends are huge nerds and ever since middle school and high school you know they've talked about shows like this and you know when i told them that i had never seen it they're like what you've never seen this show before and i'm like nope never seen it and so they've been trying to get me to watch it ever since and i'm just like yeah, I, I don't know yet. So I just never got around to it, even though I was planning on watching it at some point. So yeah, uh, today I'm actually, this is my first time watching this show. I'm actually very excited because I've heard very good things about the show. And, um, and you know, after this, I'm actually going to watch the first episode of Amphibia and Avatar The Last Airbender because those are also two shows that I have missed out on and never seen before. So I'm very, very excited for this. Um, and I'm very, very excited for those two shows as well. Remember guys, if you want to see the full length, awkward disaster of a video, please do go to the Patreon that's down below where you can see the full length reaction, early access to videos and movie requests and a whole bunch of other goodies, as well as a very, very private discord server for Patreon members and um youtube members so uh, youtube members is not out yet um uh, but um uh, once i get it i will let you guys know and i will release it but for right now it's just patreon um i also did a movie reaction the prince of egypt with my good friend bento um uh that will be out very very soon um as soon as i can possibly get that out it's a very long reaction i believe it was like two and a half hour uh, reaction so it was a very very long reaction and I hope I get it out soon but yes that is something that is also on the way but enough rambling I'm gonna go ahead and start the reaction if you guys love this reaction and you like what you see or you just find yourself coming back on the regular please do like and subscribe it really help out a lot but I hope you enjoy this reaction so let's go ahead and get into Gravity Falls season 1 episode 1 tourist trapped time for leisure recreation and taking her easy. Unless you're me. <laughs> That's a golf cart. What the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? My name is Dipper. The girl Dipper. about to puke is my sister Mabel. You may be Mabel. wondering what we're doing okay. in a golf cart fleeing from a creature of unimaginable horror. <gasps> yeah, so am I. <laughs> There's a perfectly logical explanation. <laughs> oh. oh, the intro! I've actually heard this before, but it's... Oh. Woo! Yeah, I'm hyped! <laughs> what the fuck was that? Hold on. I saw something. Oh, there's something there. Hold on, I missed it again. Whoa, okay, what the fuck is this? Oh, it's you. I know you. So this is uh, Bill. I've heard of Bill before. He's this little triangle guy. I've seen him many times before. One of my friends, um, Allur, who's been in my streams every now and then, um, he's fucking obsessed with this show. And he has made so many references to Bill Cipher. I know exactly who he is. He is some kind... I don't know what he is, but I know who he is. Uh, I know he's the main antagonist of the show. I do know that. And I have no idea what all of this is, but that's him in the center of the screen. So... I know who this is. His name is Bill Cipher. I don't know what he is, but I know that he is the main antagonist. So what is all of this? <laughs> because this looks very, very confusing. There's like a little staircase down there. There's there's like where there's like a whole ass like R T O O one. What the fuck is all? There's like an hourglass. What is all of this? Because it does. 
what is this circle right here? There's like a whole bunch of shit right here. Okay, after a little bit of investigating, I noticed some things on the circle. Um, and thanks to some friends who were actually in call with me while I was editing the video, pointed out some things that actually really helped. They told me to look at the characters and notice any similarities between them and the evidence on this big circle thing. They told me to look and scan the characters for anything familiar and then that's when I noticed that Dipper has a pine tree on his hat and that same symbol is on the circle. That's when I noticed that Seuss has a question mark on his shirt, Mabel has a shooting star on her sweater, and then Stan has this little claw mark on his hat. I also looked at Wendy, but I couldn't see anything. Either I missed it or it's just not on her right now. I don't really know what she is, but I'm guessing that she has uh, something to do with this circle as well. My friends also told me to pay attention to the intro and the outro of Gravity Falls. And when I paid attention to the end of the intro, I heard this. Then my friends gave me a hint about going in reverse, and so I did that and I heard this. After hearing these two things, I asked my friends, what does three letters back mean? And they just said, remember what I said, just pay attention to the end of the episode. That's when I saw this in the credits. After I noticed this in the outro and what was said in the intro three letters back, I did get the idea to go three letters back with this code in the alphabet. Once I did that for every letter, I got the code Welcome to Gravity Falls. Now there are a lot more other things that I'm gonna have to find, but this was very helpful and uh, they told me just to keep out for the intro and the outro because there's different things in the outro like every single episode and then every now and then the intro will change so i'm gonna keep a lookout for all of that but this was what i have found so far i don't know what any of this means but it's obviously got something to do with bill it all began when our parents decided we could use some fresh air they shipped us up north to a sleepy town called gravity falls oregon to stay at our great uncle's place in the woods check out all my splinters Ow, fuck. <laughs> My sister attended to look on the bright side of things. Yay! Yeah. Grass! But I was having a hard time getting used to our new surroundings. What the fuck are you? Okay. I'm assuming that's their uncle that they just mentioned. Um, okay, so Dipper. I don't know the other girl's name. I, I can't remember her name. The other girl, his... I'm guessing they're twins. Uh, seems like they're twins. Um... They're very, very, very different from one another. The girl is more positive and energetic and tends to look at everything in a positive manner. Uh, while Dipper here, who is the, the, the other twin, is more like more calm than she is. He's more of a kind of like to himself, you know, uh, kind of like a little, I wouldn't say negative, um, compared to his sister, but he's more like, um, not as positive as she is. Um, so they are two completely different people and I'm interested to see how that's going to play out in the story. And who the fuck are you? <laughs> their uncle, like I said, like, I, I feel like this is their uncle that they mentioned. <clears throat> okay. That's Stan. <laughs> I know who he is too because um, I know that um, people have been telling me that the same voice actor who plays King and Hootie in the Owl House plays Great Uncle Stan um, in this show. So this is Stan. I've seen images of him. This is the same. This is the character who Alex Hirsch voices, the voices of King and Hootie. Uh, from the Owl House. So I've been actually kind of <laughs> been wondering to see what he'd sound like um, compared to King and Hootie. Com sounds completely different. Um, but yeah, this guy seems shady already. <laughs> Our uncle had transformed his house into a tourist trap he called the Mystery Shack. The real mystery was why anyone came. <laughs> Damn, this kid has no chill. I love that. <laughs> The sass crotch. 
the sass crotch. So Disney will let that slide, but when it comes to representation in the LGBTQIA plus community, okay. Also, uh, ignore the vent. Uh, I have not gotten that closed up. I was hoping to get the closed up before reacting to these shows, but uh, didn't happen. Sorry, guys. <laughs> uh, do you like me? Yes. yes. Definitely. Absolutely. Absolutely. I rigged it. <laughs> I rigged it. <laughs> Come on, Dipper. This is our first summer away from home. It's my big chance. Oh. So this is their first ever summer away from their own home. Okay. That's interesting to know. Because uh, it does seem like this is like not a new thing to them. And it's actually not a new thing at all. Uh, or it is a new thing. Yeah. My brain is off today. But yes, this seems like a completely new experience to them being away from home. And now that we know this is actually their first ever summer away from home. And I'm guessing... A uh, very long period away from their parents. Um, it does seem like you know they're very indoor-like people. So yeah, that kind of makes sense. I wouldn't be surprised if the man of my dreams walked through that door right now. <laughs> Uh, no. Oh. I need someone to go hammer up these signs in the spooky part of the forest. Not it. Not it. Uh, also not it. Nobody asked you, Zeus. Zeus. Okay. So new character, Zeus. Um, he's fixing a shelf. I'm guessing he's kind of like the guy who fixes things, like the, the handyman, I'm guessing. Um, so Zeus. All right. Wendy, I need you to put up this sign. Wendy. I would, but I uh, can't. Uh. Reach it. I'd <laughs> fire all of you if I could. <laughs> oh shit, okay. So she's kind of like the slacker. She's kind of like the the slacking employee. Okay. Okay, so this girl, Wendy. So kind of like a teen, she looks like a teenager, so I'm guessing she is. This girl, Wendy, uh, she's kind of like the cashier. Um, I'm guessing that's what she is. Um, but she works here, uh, along with Zeus, um, and now, uh, Dipper and, um, and Mabel. Uh, that's gonna take me a little bit to remember her name. Um, the others are kind of easy to remember. So, we have our, like, this, I'm guessing this is our, like, our main group of characters. Um, Dipper, Mabel, uh, Stan, Zeus, and Wendy. So, I'm guessing this is, a, like, our main group of what we're gonna have in the show. But so far, like, Stan is the, like, I wouldn't say, uh, like, he's the boss, because this is his own home. Then Dipper and Mabel are twins. Um, they're, like, his uh, great nephew and great niece. Then uh, Stan's employees, it seems like Wendy is, like, the cashier. Um, and then Zeus is the handyman. Who kind of fixes things around the around the shack so um i don't know how those extra two people wendy and zeus are gonna i don't know how they're gonna come into play with the story but uh so they're very different from one another very very different oh is he paranoid is he or are you just hiding the fact that this town is like haunted or some shit this guy is so fucking shady to me i'm getting such like weird vibes from this guy. I feel like he is hiding a lot of things from Dipper and Mabel. Cause like he's lived here for I don't even know how long. And it seems like he knows a lot more than he's letting on. So I'm getting such weird vibes from this guy. But yeah, I feel like he's definitely hiding some shit. Huh? Ooh, a fig tree. 
Oh, oh, that's creepy. What the fuck is this? A journal? Okay, three. Oh, there's six fingers on this. Why? Wait, is that an is that an animation mistake or I'm guessing that's an animation mistake? But three. Is this a third book? So where's one and two? Or is there more than three? One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know how many. But this says the number three on it, so this is looks like the third installment of whatever this is. Property, of course it's cut off. It's hard to believe it's been six years since I began studying the strange and wondrous secrets of Gravity Falls, Oregon. Unfortunately, my suspicions have been confirmed. I'm being watched. I must hide this book before he finds it. Remember, in Gravity Falls, there is no one you can trust. Oh, I got the chills! I got the fucking chills! What the fuck? <laughs> oh no, that's crack and creepy. No, I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. Oh, the music made it so much more creepy. Oh, oh no, 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 no. <laughs> oh no, I don't like that. Oh, oh, I'm invested now. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm invested. But according to this book, Gravity Falls has this secret dark side. Whoa, shut okay. up. And get this, after a certain point, the pages just stop. Like the guy who was writing it mysteriously disappeared. That's not a good thing, Dipper. <laughs> it's not a good thing. Um, That's a very bad thing. Okay. So, uh, I just, okay. Dipper, you realize that if the pages stop at a certain point and they just don't continue like the guy disappeared, that probably means that you should not touch it or have it or be associated with it in any way ever. Because <laughs> that means it's fucking dangerous. And somebody does not like these books. So he's going to keep it, obviously, but I don't think he understands how just how dangerous that sounds. Is she neurodivergent? I feel like she's neurodivergent. She's very energetic and it kind of it kind of seems like she's like ADHD or something. Cuz I know that energy. I have that energy cuz I'm ADHD, so I feel like she's neurodivergent in some way cuz it seems like that's the way she's being portrayed. Um and if she is neurodivergent, that's pretty cool. <laughs> so, so what's your name? Uh, normal. Man! He means Norman. Are you bleeding, Norman? It's jam. There was something about Norman that wasn't right. D you don't fucking say! <laughs> um, this guy is... Okay, alright. Um, this guy is very shady. <laughs> I don't feel like I need to say that. But... Um, yeah, I will anyways. Um, so I feel like this is gonna be like our first issue with the town being weird. Known for their pale skin and bad attitudes, these creatures are often mistaken for teenagers. Beware, Gravity Falls is nefarious. <gasps> Sup? Zombie! Okay, so, okay, that kind of makes sense actually. Zombies are a very common thing to deal with when a show... Like, this has a very big, like, uh, like, monster element. You know, zombies are, uh, easy to grasp, you know, their concept. Um, they're kind of, like, a way to, I feel like this is kind of, like, their way to ease into, like, the mysterious and creepy monsters, ghouls, and everything that the show will have. And I'm actually okay with that, because I kind of want to be eased into this, um, and I feel like this is the perfect example. So, I'm actually very happy about that. <laughs> is my sister really dating a zombie? Or am I just going nuts? It's a dilemma, to be sure. <gasps> I couldn't help but overhear you talking aloud to yourself in this empty room. Look, dude, I believe you. I'm always noticing weird stuff in this town. Like the mailman? Pretty sure that dude's a werewolf. <laughs> oh, oh, damn. He could be. <laughs> We're just a really hairy guy. <laughs> okay, so this guy, Zeus, 
he notices things weird about this town. Okay. Kind of strange how... Okay, so we know that this is not just a thing for kids. You know, um, you know, I was kind of having it in my head that, you know, maybe the kids are being the ones affected um, in this town, not the adults. Kind of like how, um, like, It, like Stephen King's It. So I was getting the feeling that that might be the case as to why Stan um, is not talking about the strange occurrences in this town. Because he's lived here for I don't even know how long. But says that he hasn't really noticed anything weird in the sound, that they're just local legends. But we now know it's confirmed that the adults do notice weird things in this town. Some of the adults do. Because Zeus notices things all the time in this town, as he has just said. So that confirms that Stan's most likely hiding something. I feel like Stan's like an antagonist or something. I don't know. It seems like that's the route they would go. Uh, being Disney. But you gotta have evidence. Otherwise, yep. people are gonna think you're a major league cuckoo clock. I am needed elsewhere. <laughs> My sister. He, he's absolutely right, though. You can't, you had to have evidence to convince people otherwise. Sometimes that doesn't work, though. Uh, sometimes you could have a whole bunch of evidence and then show it to them, at like to their face, and they'll be like, "Doesn't mean anything." I've had to deal with people like that in my life some very recently and when that happens you're just like yeah you almost can't believe uh it but zeus is correct like in order to have a chance at convincing people that you're onto something you have to have evidence you know there's always going to be people that deny it no matter what no matter how much evidence you have or how convincing the evidence is um uh, there will always be people who are like yeah no doesn't mean anything you know, you're always going to deal with people like that. So I don't know if this is going to work because if it's taken this long for people to recognize that something weird in this town is happening, they might not believe it due to how much time has passed without uh, people uh, knowing that this, this town is weird. So it might not even work in general because of how much time has passed without uh, this kind of thing happening. So, <laughs> you think he might be a vampire? That would be so awesome. No, Guess again, close, sister. But... Shabam! Ah! Oh wait, I'm so I'm sorry. Gnomes? <laughs> Are gnomes in the show? A zombie? That is not funny, Dipper. I'm not joking. It all adds up. The bleeding, the limp. He never blinks. Have you noticed that? Maybe he's blinking when you're blinking. Mabel, remember what? As I said, people who still deny shit with the worst possible explanations. Oh my gosh. Uh, this is fucking relatable. Jesus Christ. Okay. Trust no one. Well, what about me, huh? Why can't you trust me? She makes a good point too, but. I don't have any real evidence. I guess I can be kind of paranoid sometimes and wait, what? <laughs> Wendy! 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 I need to borrow the golf cart so I can save my sister from a zombie! Try not to hit any pedestrians. Oh, she's so cool. <laughs> okay, so she's, she's she's like the chill person. Okay, like I said, she's like a slacker, but she's also she seems really chill. Okay, so she's like the cool one. Wait, what's your name? Zeus, not Zeus. Sure, it's me, Zeus. Zeus. Okay. There's something I should tell you. Oh, Norman, you can tell me anything. Please be a vampire, please be a vampire. <laughs> Is this weird? Is this too weird? You need to sit down. It literally was gnomes. Oh my God. He opened the book and there was the pages of gnomes in, in the fucking book. He was actually right. <laughs> I mean, it was it was an accident that the page opened up to that or the book opened up to that page. But 
he was still right. It was actually gnomes. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Will you join us in holy matrimony? Matri matrimony. Blah. Can't talk today. <laughs> <laughs> that's me that's me in like every single reaction i just stutter and i'm like ah, i can't talk <laughs> we'll never forget you mabel oh okay because we're gonna kidnap you okay there it is <laughs> i was like okay this is gonna take a turn <laughs> <laughs> Peeking rainbows. Dipper, Norma turned out to be a bunch of gnomes, and they're too dark. Oh, hair, hair, hair. Gnomes? Oh, I was way off. <laughs> I know, man, right? <laughs> you think you can stop us, boy? You have no idea what we're capable of. The gnomes are a powerful race. Do not trifle with the <laughs> gnomes of the forest. Assemble! What is this fucking Avengers assemble? Oh, they're the creature at the start. Okay. Oh, his hat! No, his hat. He lost his hat. I gotta do it. What, Mabel? Don't do this. Are you crazy? Trust me. What? Dipper, just this once. Trust me. Okay. You may now get his surprise. Well, don't mind if I do. The leaf blower. Okay. Yeah, okay. I was about to say, like, where is it then? <laughs> and this is for messing with my brother. Oh, <laughs> oh that's cute. On three. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, he's gonna come back. Okay. They'll be waiting. Awkward sibling hug. Awkward sibling hug. <laughs> pat, pat. Oh, new hat. Okay. <laughs> This journal told me there was no one in Gravity Falls I could trust. But when you battle a hundred gnomes side by side with someone, you realize that they've probably always got your back. That grappling is going to be a problem. There was nothing strange about this town. But who knows what other secrets are waiting to be unlocked. I fucking knew it. Oh, you know something. All right. Ah, oh, man, I'm invested now. Ah, uh, so I was right. You are fucking hiding something. Okay, guys, that was Gravity Falls Season 1, Episode 1, Tourist Trapped. I am actually really, really uh, happy that I got to see that. Uh, this show is very, very interesting so far. Very mysterious. Very, very, um, it gave me the chills, which is something I did not ex expect, but I really like this so far. For the things that we know so far, I was correct. Stan is hiding something. I'm guessing that he does know everything that happens in this town. He is hiding something very, very huge, I'm guessing. He has some sort of secret door with that vending machine. He's hiding something big. Um, so I think he's going to become a pretty big issue. Uh, Dipper and Mabel. Uh, like I said, two very, very different people. Completely different. So I like Dipper so far but mabel i don't know about mabel yet um she kind of like redeemed herself a little bit towards the end of the episode with the leaf blower and all that um but i don't know about her yet i, I get the feeling that i'm not gonna like her but i hope that that's not the case other characters wendy pretty chill haven't got a whole lot of her yet um but i'm hoping that we do soon um, Zeus, I thought his name was Zeus, um, at the beginning of the episode with the Z, uh, but it's actually Seuss, so I'm guessing it's like S-E-U-S, 
Um, and then gnomes. We have we we saw the gnomes. Um, I I thought it was gonna be zombies because that would have been a good like segue into the show, or like a like a good way to ease into audience. Um, but I guess gnomes are okay too. Uh, gnomes are a pretty uh, easy thing to grasp as well. So I won't complain about it. Um, and and then like. The show, the the episode towards the beginning with the like the music and when he found the book, it gave me the creeps. Um, I don't know, like it it gave me like it, it made me have goosebumps and shit. So I <laughs> I'm loving it so far. But yeah, that was Gravity Falls season one episode one reaction. If you guys enjoyed this reaction and you liked what you see, or you just find yourself coming back on the regular, please do like and subscribe. It would really help out a lot. I am fucking stuttering again. And remember guys, if you guys want to see the full length reaction, early access to videos and all the other goodies, go down to the Patreon down below. But I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys next time.